Hello there. We've got some pretty unsettled summer weather across much of Europe for the rest of this week. Low pressure moving in from the Atlantic. Here on the satellite image you can see this first area of low pressure moving in towards the UK, bringing heavy showers over the next few days. Out in the Atlantic, more cloud bringing wet and windy weather once again to much of Europe later on in the week. Now for Wednesday, the heaviest of the showers will be across parts of southern France through the Alps, so Austria, Switzerland, Germany, towards the Czech Republic as well, all seeing some really heavy showers. There have been some thunderstorms in Ukraine crane already. Meanwhile, towards the southeast for much of Turkey and Greece, fairly breezy but dry, warm and sunny. That sunshine extending across the Mediterranean. But a cooler day to come in Madrid, 28 Celsius here with the arrival of some cloud from the north and perhaps one or two showers later in the day. But it really is quite unsettled, breezy and showery across France, the UK and up towards Scandinavia with low pressure moving in. Now that area of low pressure shifts across Scandinavia towards western Russia through the day on Thursday. The next uh, approaching Atlantic low pressure system System, arriving slowly from the west but actually for the bulk of central Europe a bit of a respite a slightly drier and less windy day on the cards for Thursday so both London and Paris will stay rather cool and showery and rather breezy for the rest of this week Madrid and Rome though further south staying dry with lots of sunshine and we will see a few showers at times some on the heavy and thundery side in Moscow for the next five days bye bye Hello there. Let's take a look at the weather across all of North America now. And over recent days, there have been some heavy showers across some central parts of Canada through the Midwest as well. All down to this weather front, you can see the line of cloud associated with that on the satellite image. Now that's still with us, but it's continuing its progression further southwards and eastwards across the Great Lakes. So some heavy showers for areas including Michigan, Indiana, and also into eastern Canada as well. Further west across Canada after the recent high temperatures, cooler air making its way in from the Arctic. So we're going to be seeing a few showers and a dip in the temperatures, but still another warm day to come in Vancouver with temperatures sitting in the mid-20s Celsius. So that's at 76 Fahrenheit there in Vancouver. Some sunshine for Prince George, but also some showers arriving later in the day. Heading further south for Washington State, Oregon and much of California, it is looking dry, sunny and again fairly warm as well. The outlook over the next couple of days for the cities in the west is for things to stay largely dry, settled and sunny. Bit of a dip in those temperatures for Vancouver, you'll notice, over the next few days. Meanwhile, further east then, we're going to be seeing some showery weather moving across the Great Lakes and southeastern Canada as well. Could be one or two showers arriving in New York later in the day. Similar picture for Washington DC too. Drier though, further south across the Carolinas towards Georgia after the recent heavy showers. Still a few showers across Florida. And showery rain on and off for Montreal and New York over the next few days. Should be dry for Atlanta. Bye-bye. Hello, thanks for joining me for this look at the weather across South America and Central America too. And we'll start with the satellite image across South America. It shows relatively cloud-free skies across many central parts of the continent. We've got a bit of cloud, a cold front that's been moving its way gradually northeastwards. So temperatures have been pretty chilly over recent days across many central parts of South America, but we've got some warmer weather on the cards for Tuesday. So certainly a warmer day for Buenos Aires and also for Rio de Janeiro, things are warming up too. Now the north across the continent, some heavy showers, particularly across parts of Suriname, Guyana, French Guiana as well. A little bit drier towards the northeast of Brazil, but still a few showers just lingering off the east coast here. Things are looking dry and warmer across much of Uruguay and northern Argentina, but some colder air moving in here later on in the week. Unsettled across parts of Chile with further snow for the southern Andes. So in Rio de Janeiro then, a recovery of those temperatures, lots of sunshine, turning a bit warmer over the next few days. But once again, some colder conditions on the cards for Buenos Aires with the arrival of some showers towards the end of the week. For Mexico, plenty of heavy showers, particularly over the higher ground in the west. But much of the Yucatan Peninsula should stay dry and sunny through the day. Sunshine extending across the central Caribbean, but some heavy showers across the letter Antilles. And there could be one or two showers in Havana through the day on Tuesday. The outlook in Havana is for showers on and off through the rest of the week. Some drier weather, though, in store with some sunshine in Kingston. Bye-bye. Hello there. Let's take a look at the weather across all of Africa and the Middle East too. Now it's been pretty warm across much of South Africa, but we've got an approaching weather front that's set to bring some showers and some fairly windy conditions around the Cape. Could be gusts of, in fact, up to about 70 miles per hour. Elsewhere, further north, there's some heavy showers around the Gulf of Guinea. In fact, there could be some flooding problems across parts of Sierra Leone and Liberia with heavy rain likely here through the day on Wednesday. You can see that rain working into Cape Town, just 14 degrees, no strong winds as well. But for much of North Africa, some hot weather 
uh, particularly for Algeria and Libya, those temperatures will be on the rise. So in Cape Town, showery, windy weather through the middle of the week, but it will turn a bit warmer later in the week and less windy too. Sunshine continues for Johannesburg. In Khartoum, another day or so of dry, sunny weather, but we'll see the arrival of some heavy showers from Thursday onwards and a dip in the temperatures as well. Should be dry with sunny spells for Casablanca. Now onto the Middle East and a lot of dry, hot, sunny weather as we'd expect really for this time of year. Temperatures fairly typical, generally in the mid 40s. The Shamal winds will be picking up, blowing across the Gulf from a northwesterly direction. And also we've got these brisk southwesterly winds blowing particularly along the coast of Oman through the day on Wednesday. So there could be a little bit of lifted dust here and there. But it's very much a dry, hot and sunny forecast for Muscat, Dubai, Riyadh and for Kuwait over the next five days. Bye bye. Hello there. We've seen a very active phase of the southwest monsoon over recent days and weeks, in fact, and no respite, I'm afraid, over the next few days. Still torrential rain. Here's the satellite image. It shows a lot of cloud that's been ploughing into coastal Myanmar and Bangladesh, too. These areas, once again, are going to receive some very heavy rainfall over the next couple of days. We've got a monsoon depression, an area of low pressure, which is pepping up the rainfall towards the northeast of India. So areas including Orissa and West Bengal see torrential downpours and then the heaviest of the rain will shift its way gradually further westwards across the northern half of India later in the week. Meanwhile, in two central parts of Asia, things are looking hot and dry. We've got some gusty winds developing for a time across parts of Afghanistan. A few heavy showers over the mountains of Pakistan, but largely dry down towards Karachi. And then anywhere from Mumbai further south, that's where we've got some torrential rain once again, right down the west coast of India, where we've had flooding recently. Towards Mali, perhaps one or two lighter showers here. And it's a story of sunshine and scattered showers for Sri Lanka. But move our way further north, Andhra Pradesh, Madhra Pradesh, towards West Bengal, torrential rain and flooding is likely to continue. In Mumbai, heavy rain for the next five days or so. The rain largely clearing up, I think, from Dakar as we look towards the end of this week. Lots of sunshine in store for Tashkent and some showers arriving in Karachi during the weekend. Bye-bye. Hello there. It's a very busy spell of weather in the Western Pacific in terms of tropical storms and typhoons. Ex-Typhoon Francisco made landfall across Kyushu. It's now moving its way up towards the Korean Peninsula. To the south of that, two other tropical storms, Lakima and Croso, that'll both be making their way northwestwards over the next few days. So lots to keep our eye on in the Western Pacific. This storm, Francisco, will be pushing its way northwards, bringing particularly heavy rainfall to the eastern half of South Korea. Plenty of heavy showers for central and eastern parts of China and sitting towards the northeast of the Philippines. Here is a tropical storm, Lakima. Now that is going to move close to Taiwan, I think, by the time we get to Thursday. Further south, lots of dry weather across the bulk of Indonesia. The outlook for the next five days is going to be a dry one for Osaka with sunny spells. Still some heavy showers around in Beijing, also for Bangkok, and that rain should clear away from Seoul over the next few days. Lots of dry, warm weather in store for central and northern parts of Australia, but around the south coast, weather fronts bringing some blustery and showery conditions. A rather cool story for the likes of Melbourne and Hobart, both at around 12 degrees. Not as cold or wintry as it was across New Zealand recently. The wind's still quite brisk though, and temperatures a little bit warmer, up to about 14 or 15 degrees. Plenty of sunshine in store for Sydney over the next five days or so. Showers at times for Melbourne. Bye-bye.